Today we'll be talking about how to fix your Electrolux dryer. Whether it's error codes or troubleshooting, this guide will get your appliance back on track in no time. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dryer, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dryer error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code E31. Problem. Moisture sensor feedback frequency is too high. Clean the sensor bars inside the dryer first and repair any damage. If any. Code E32. Problem. Moisture sensor feedback frequency is too low. Once again. Dirt on the sensor bars or damage to them might be the cause. Code E42. Problem. The dryer door opens. Test the door switch with your meter. If open or intermittent, replace the switch. Code E51. Problem. Motor relay failure. The motor might be intermittent or have no operation. Code E52. Problem. The motor stopped or won't start. Check for mechanical restrictions. Code E53. Problem. Drive motor centrifugal switch failure. Code E54. Problem. The drive motor relay circuit failed. Code E61. Problem. Heater relay failure. Code E63. Problem. The control detected a ground short at the heating element. Code E64. Problem. Open heating element circuit. Code E65. Problem. Main control detected the high limit thermostat tripped too often electric only. Contact us for help in finding the cause. Code E66. Problem. Tripped thermal fuse. There is more than one cause for this error. Code E66. Problem. Heating sensor circuit failure triggered by the main control. Code E71 or E72. Problem. The outlet thermistor is out of range. Code E73. Problem. The inlet thermistor is out of range. Code E74. Problem. Similar to E54. Drive motor relay circuit failure. Code E91. Problem. Communication error. The typical cause is communication between UI user interface and main control. Code E92. Problem. The mismatch between UI and main control. Code E93. Problem. The control and peripherals aren't matched or configured. Code E94. Problem. Configuration error internal to the main control. Code E97. Problem. A program mismatch internal to the main control. Code EA1. Problem. The control sees the frequency of the incoming power out of range should be 60 Hz. Contact the power company for correct power and frequency. Code EA2. Problem. The control detected incoming voltage above 130 VAC. Code EA3. Problem. The control detected incoming voltage below 90 VAC. Code EA4. Problem. The control detected incorrect wiring on the terminal block. Code. EA5. Problem. This is a fatal error of the main control. Meaning that you must replace it. Code. EF1. Problem. The temperature regulation in the dryer isn't correct and triggered this blocked vent error code. Code. EF3. Problem. The maximum drying time for the selected cycle has passed and clothes are still wet. A strong indication of blocked or restricted airflow. Code. EF8. Problem. This error indicates a stuck key on the UI. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dryer, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dryer troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Step 1. Check the area around the exhaust vent of your dryer. One of the most common causes of dryer problems, including overheating, failing to dry clothes properly and not heating up properly, is that the exhaust has been blocked by dirt lint, and other debris. In addition, the cheap vent hoses that come with many Electrolux dryers are not adequate for the job. And it is a good idea to replace those vent hoses with higher quality stainless steel replacement hoses. In the meantime, be sure to check the entire length of the vent hose for blockage. Removing any kinks as you go. Step 2. Check the thermal fuse. Many models of Electrolux dryers are equipped with a thermal fuse. And if this thermal fuse is faulty, the dryer may not run at all, or it may run but not generate any heat. Consult your owner's manual for the location of the thermal fuse on your dryer model. On many models, the thermal fuse is located inside the back cover panel. You may need a screwdriver to access this panel. Be sure to unplug the dryer before you get started. 
If the thermal fuse is blown, be sure to replace it and try to run the dryer again. Step 3. Check the power cord running to the dryer. If the cord is frayed or damaged it could cause the unit to short out and not run properly. If the cord is damaged, the dryer may run sometimes, but refuse to start at other times. Be sure to check the entire length of the cord, from the point where it attaches to the dryer itself to the point where it plugs into the wall. If the cord is frayed, cut, or damaged it will need to be replaced before you attempt to use the dryer again. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dryer, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dryer repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Electrolux manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Electrolux appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Electrolux dryer won't start. Thermal fuse. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is located on the blower housing or at the dryer's heat source such as the heating element on electric dryers or at the burner on gas models. The fuse should be closed for continuity meaning it has a continuous electrical path through it when good. If overheated the fuse will have no continuity meaning the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. A multimeter can be used to test it for continuity. Be aware that a blown thermal fuse is an indication of a restricted exhaust vent from the dryer to the outside. Always check the dryer venting when replacing a blown thermal fuse. Electrolux dryer stopped spinning. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum, around a tension pulley, and then around the drive motor pulley. Over time, the belt can break from normal use. If the belt is broken, the dryer won't turn. To quickly determine if the belt is broken, reach into the dryer and turn the drum by hand. If the drum spins very easily, the belt is likely broken. Next, inspect the belt to confirm that it is broken. If the belt is broken, replace it. Electrolux dryer drum not turning. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum, around a tension pulley, and then around the drive motor pulley. Over time, the belt can break from normal use. If the belt is broken, the dryer won't turn. To quickly determine if the belt is broken, reach into the dryer and turn the drum by hand. If the drum spins very easily, the belt is likely broken. Next, inspect the belt to confirm that it is broken. If the belt is broken, replace it. Electrolux dryer takes too long. Airflow problem. If the vent is clogged or partially clogged, it will restrict the airflow through the dryer, substantially increasing the drying time. To ensure proper dryer performance, you should clean your dryer's venting system at least once per year. Electrolux dryer overheating. Heating element. The heating element warms the air before the air enters the dryer drum. If the element is partially shorted out, it may produce heat continuously, even if the dryer has reached the proper temperature. When this happens, the dryer gets too hot. To determine if the heating element is at fault, Use a multimeter to test each terminal for continuity to the case. If the heating element has continuity to the case, it is shorted out. If the heating element is shorted out, replace it. Electrolux dryer won't stop. Airflow problem. If the vent is clogged or partially clogged, it will restrict the airflow through the dryer, substantially increasing the drying time. To ensure proper dryer performance, you should clean your dryer's venting system at least once per year. Electrolux dryer is not heating. Thermal fuse. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is located on the blower housing or at the dryer's heat source such as the heating element on electric dryers or at the burner on gas models. The fuse should be closed for continuity meaning it has a continuous electrical path through it when good. If overheated the fuse will have no continuity meaning the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. A multimeter can be used to test it for continuity. Be aware that a blown thermal fuse is an indication of a restricted exhaust vent from the dryer to the outside. Always check the dryer venting when replacing a blown thermal fuse. Electrolux dryer tripping breaker. The circuit breaker is weak. Over time, circuit breakers can weaken. If the circuit breaker is weak, it may trip too often. Even if the amperage drawer is below the limit. If you have already checked all of the potentially defective dryer components. Consider having an electrician replace the circuit breaker. 
Electrolux dryer makes noise. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum, around a tension pulley, and then around the drive motor. Over time, the drive belt can become frayed or otherwise damaged. If the drive belt is frayed or damaged, the dryer will be noisy as it turns. Inspect the drive belt for signs of wear. If the drive belt is worn, replace it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.